So this is my attempt at night six on Five Nights at Freddy's 4. I finished nights one, two, and three on my first attempt. Night four, I believe I died because Bonnie was in the hallway and I was trying to rush it because the frettles were on the bed. But um, night five, I finished on my first attempt. Night five is just Fredbear. Night six, this was my second attempt. On the first attempt, I died because Fredbear was in the hallway and I flashed the light too long because I didn't expect him to be there. Anyway, in this game, you have to kind of follow a pattern. The only animatronic that's really going to give you a problem is Foxy. So I follow left door, bed, right door, bed, left door, etc., and keep going until Foxy's in your office. Then I go left door, bed, right door, closet. I don't know if that's a good strategy, but that's what I attempt to do. So just follow this until Foxy goes into the closet, which happens eventually. So you'll hear Foxy running from left to right in the hallways, and um, I think you're just supposed to follow Foxy as much as you can. Sometimes, like on night six, because he's kind of moving really fast, you're going to have to deviate from the pattern a little bit. But Foxy is going to get into your office eventually. It's going to happen. Um, I think on night four, he didn't go into my closet until 5 a.m., so I didn't really have to worry about him that much. As I said, Bonnie, Chica, and Freddy are easy to manage. It's just Foxy that's going to throw a wrench into your plans, and you've got to be very mindful of that. I think Foxy got into my closet at like 2 or something like that. Foxy can get into your closet when you're at the bed. Um, you don't hear or see him entering the closet. Uh, Bonnie's at my door, by the way. Just got to listen out for him, listen for him to walk away. And there's also Foxy, so I delayed Foxy a little bit. Um, so just listen for Foxy's running. If he stopped running, he's in your closet. Uh, if you're at the left door and Foxy gets in, just go to the bed first, then check the closet. If you're at the right door, I would recommend checking the closet immediately. At least that's what I did. Bonnie's not in the hallway, not at my door. So just be mindful of that. Just play it straight until Foxy gets in there. Foxy will throw a wrench in your plan. So there's Chica down the hallway, and now Foxy's in the closet. So now we got to go check Foxy. Uh, as I said, I came from the right door. There's a warning, by the way, for Foxy. So as soon as I was at the right door, I immediately checked the closet to see if he was in there. Of course, he's already in there. I didn't mean I know he's in there. Uh, Foxy is going to demand quite a lot of attention. So no Bonnie at the door, but the light, the light is flickering, which means the frettles are accumulating. It also could mean Bonnie and Chica are at your door. Check the right hallway. Listen for Chica. I do hear Chica. Close the door. Wait for her to leave. You'll hear her footsteps as she walks away. Shine the light just to be sure. And then we go to the closet. So this is the pattern that I did. Door, bed, door, closet. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the best strategy. I'm not sure if sometimes it's better to just check the closet first instead of the doors. I know you can hear it for the footsteps and stuff. This is just what I did. Maybe I was skating on thin ice in some instances here, particularly with the frettles accumulating on the bed. But this is what I did, and this is what worked for me. And this was my second attempt. You see, I got quite close to summoning Freddy there. Um, go to the right hallway. Chica's at my door. Close it. Wait for her to leave. I don't know if you have to shine the light, but that's what I do all the time, just to be sure. And then we go back to the closet. Now, Foxy does get quite close to leaving. I held the door closed for about eight seconds because I was too afraid that maybe if I um, stay at the closet for too long, it'll summon Freddy. That's the bad thing. But thankfully, at 4 a.m., all the animatronics are replaced by Nightmare Fredbear. So once Fredbear becomes active, this night becomes a, a lot easier, I would say. As I said earlier, I finished night five on my first attempt. I really didn't know what I was doing, but I knew when Fredbear laughed, he was in your room, either the closet or the bed. So I had a little bit of knowledge going into this about what Fredbear does, how he behaves, etc. So it's 3 a.m. We're getting real close to Fredbear. As I said, at 4 a.m. he comes in. But just because you're getting close to 4 a.m. doesn't mean you can be a bit more relaxed. So see, the Freddles disappeared. So now it's 4 a.m. Now it's just Fredbear. It's just him, and we listen out for him. He runs to the left hallway. You hear him running back and forth, kind of like Foxy. He behaves similar to Foxy. He's kind of like a combination of Foxy, Bonnie slash Chica, and Freddy. He's like a combination of all four. You'll hear him running from left to right. There's Fredbear. There he is. You'll hear him running from left to right. You just have to check the hallways. When he laughs, that means he's in your room, either in the closet or on the bed. You have to check both. You've got to be very, very fast. But for Fredbear, just as long as you stay active, you keep moving, He's not that big of a deal. He really isn't. As I said, I finished night five on my first attempt. So we go to the left hallway, check there. No Fredbear. 
So as I said, Fred Bear uh, forces you to change the rules a little bit. You have to shine the light first, then close the door. If you close the door first, it's going to be kind of bad news for you. So you have to shine the light first to see if he's there, then close it. Um, so he forces you to switch up the rules, because in this game you're supposed to listen first, then close the door. But I heard the laugh. He's on my bed. So I heard the laugh, went to the closet first. He wasn't there. Turned around, checked the bed. He's there. Left hallway, not there. I hear him running towards the right hallway. So then I go right. Is he there? No. So then just go back to the left. This is what I did. This was the strategy that I used, even on night five. There's Fred Bear. Close the door. You'll hear him running away. That's when you back away from the door. Shine the light. There's Fred Bear. As I said, just tap the light button once. If you hold it, Fred Bear will attack you. In the closet, no. I think that was a fake laugh. So then go to the left hallway. Is he there? Yep. Close the door. We're getting pretty close to the end of the night. There's only about 20 seconds or so now. As I said, you know, I was kind of, I was kind of nervous because I was getting really close to the end of night six, and I was afraid maybe I'll slip up and maybe Fred Bear will get to me. But um, hold the door shut again because you see Fred Bear. Fred Bear is really easy to deal with. I don't know if I'm going to be playing nightmare mode. And there's 6 a.m. There's the ending. Very cool. As I said, after 4 a.m., this night is a lot easier. Just as long as you stay active, you keep moving, you don't stall. Fred Bear, not a big deal. So, but as I said, shine the light first. Just tap the light button. Don't uh, hold it, just tap it, and then hold the door shut. And now we get the good ending. I guess this is the, maybe the true ending of the child here who's talking to these plushies who are like his friends and all that stuff. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the only Five Nights at Freddy's game that actually is like maybe FNAF 2, where Night 6 is like the true ending, or like the maybe just a continuation of the ending. Um, I think for FNAF 1 and 3, maybe even 2, Night 6 was just like an extra bonus optional night. Uh, but for FNAF 4, Night 6 does actually grant you like the proper ending of this game. Uh, so, yeah, there's the good ending. And of course, you unlock some extra stuff in the extras menu by completing Night 6. Uh, you unlock the animatronics, uh, the Fredbear stuff, the jump scares, stuff like that. So pretty cool.